Hey guys, it's Amanda and today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a haul and my January wrap up. So I have a little bookish haul which consists of mostly Harry Potter things. I decided that this year in 2017 I was going to spend more time focusing on the books that I already own. I found out that I currently have over 200 books that I own and haven't read yet. So I have typed up all of my titles onto these three pages and I'm highlighting the books that I read as I read them and it's kind of helping me because it's like a visual aid and motivator so that's been really good. I'm trying not to buy any new books that I haven't read yet. I'm working on buying a new set of Harry Potter. I'm working on getting the UK paperback editions from Book Outlet because I don't actually have one complete set. I've mentioned in previous videos that I have some US editions and some original UK editions so now I'm just trying to collect a fresh set along with the illustrated edition. So in the beginning of January on Book Outlet, I picked up four of the Harry Potter UK paperback editions. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So as you can see, I still have books one, three, and five left to purchase in those editions, and I'll be working on that um, in the later months. The next two things I'm going to show you are Harry Potter related. The first is this little Harry Potter Christmas tree that I received as a Christmas present. It is so cute and it has little jingle bells on it and it sits on my Harry Potter shelf on my bookshelf. The next thing I received is a gift from my best friend and she is super talented. She takes old jars and paints on them and makes cool designs and I had said that I wanted something for my library whether it was Harry Potter themed or just book themed in general and she went above and beyond and she surprised it with me on the night of my engagement and it actually has my new name on it. So she went with a Harry Potter theme and I'm going to show you that. I stuck a piece of white paper in so you could see it maybe better. So there's the Ravenclaw and there's Hedwig and I saw my swear that I'm up to no good. Then we have the sorting hat and my books which have my old initials on them. Um, and then there's History of Magic and Magic Theory. The last bookish item that I'm hauling is my brand new book embosser. I first learned about book embossers on Cassidy Von Shea's booktube channel. I will link her channel down below so you can see who I'm talking about. Once I saw her gift, I knew that I wanted to get one as an early, early birthday present since my birthday is two months away. So Anthony agreed that he would get it for me and it is amazing and it has my new last name and it says from the library of on the top and then it has my name on the bottom. Now that we're done with the little haul, I'm going to talk about my January wrap up. I managed to read four books so far in the month of January. So the first book I completed in January was A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Yes, I finally finished this. It was a feat, guys, this book. No one really talks about it because I think the people that I've seen haul it haven't gotten around to reading it yet and holy crap. I knew this was going to be emotional. I knew it was going to be really hard to get through, but no one can describe how hard this book is. What made me give this a four star rating was honestly the last 150 to 200 pages of this novel. It will emotionally cripple you. I was sitting on the couch just silently sobbing, like literally sobbing silently for not exaggerating around an hour. I didn't even think I was invested in the story or in the characters and I was sobbing. It's a ride. That's all I'm going to say. It's a ride and if any of those trigger warnings are something that would affect you, please do not pick up this book because it's not like those are lightly brushed upon. It is extremely graphic. But if it sounds like something you want to take on, I think it's a really important story. So I would definitely recommend it. Just know that it is really hard to get into at first and at times you will need to take a break. After I finished A Little Life, I decided that I wanted to pick up a short series, so like a trilogy or a duology, and I decided that I really wanted to pick up the Mara Dyer trilogy. I've been kind of on the fence about picking up this trilogy. I've had it for a year now, and I've just heard so many conflicted reviews. A lot of people really love it, and a lot of people are really annoyed with the main character. I decided to just say whatever, 
and do it. Just pick it up and read it and I am so glad I did because I gave all three books in this trilogy five out of five stars. So the first book in the trilogy is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I do not currently have my physical copy because I have lent it to my best friend Ashley. The second book in the trilogy is The Evolution of Mara Dyer. And the third book in the trilogy is The Retribution of Mara Dyer. Basically this book starts off with a girl named Mara Dyer and she wakes up in a hospital and finds out that she was in an accident with three of her friends and that she's the only person that managed to survive. It's very weird. The circumstances surrounding the accident seem kind of strange no one wants to talk about it and Mara's having these weird visions and blackouts and she can't remember the actual accident. Mara is really depressed so she asks her family if they could move and they end up moving down to Florida. Once Mara gets to Florida some weird things start to happen and she starts to remember the night of the accident and it's a lot weirder and crazier than anybody will believe. All she wants to do is tell someone what really happened that night and no one wants to believe the truth. So the trilogy is about what happened that night and what it means and so many crazy things happen. Overall, I absolutely loved this trilogy and would recommend it a hundred percent. I already have, like I said, I lent out the first book and I gave all three books in the trilogy five out of five stars. So those are all the books that I read in January. As far as the TBR for February goes, I'm not really sure what I'm going to read. I do have a buddy read set with Fiona, but we're not going to be doing a live show until the month of March. We weren't able to do our live show that we scheduled for January because Google Hangouts was having some difficulties and it was not letting us do anything but we are planning on doing a live show for our next book in March so I will have more information when it gets closer to that time and I'm just really going to keep picking up books off my shelves that I'm in the mood to read so I can just keep highlighting those books off of my TBR and let that come down because it's a little overwhelming now to know that it's over 200 and that the amount of books I've read on my shelf are less than the amount of books I have not read on my shelf so we're just gonna remedy that this year I think is what we're going to be focusing on. So thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye guys!